This is Red Hawk Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. High School Basketball on Frontier Community Access Television. Tonight's game, the opening round of the MIAA Division III Boys Tournament as the Frontier Red Hawks, the number three seed, play host to the 14 seed Athol Red Raiders. Welcome to Good Doe Gymnasium. I'm Chris Collins along with Zach Lino. The Frontier Red Hawks have beaten the Athol Red Raiders two times this season. The first game by a lopsided margin in Athol. The second game, oh, less than a week ago actually, here in this building, well, they won by 11, but tonight, it's the second season. It's a different story, Zach, we know. It's one and done, and the Frontier Red Hawks better come to play against the chippy Athol team. Yeah, I think Athol is going to be one of the big sleeper teams throughout this playoff in D3. I mean, they barely squeaked in the playoffs, but they've got a lot of fight and a lot of good players here. They had to win a lot of big games down the stretch to be able to even get into this field. They ended up with a 14th seed, and again, a 14 against the three ordinarily. You look at it on paper, you look at the record, you say, ah, you know, it's going to be a tough, tough road to hoe for Rafa, but they have one big thing they didn't have the last time they played in this building, and that is the return of Mark Ferrari, who was serving in suspension after getting thrown out of the Greenfield game. He'll be in the lineup tonight facing off against Peter Carey, also Owen uh, Walkowitz, and uh, Colin Boudreau in the middle. Ferrari is the kind of player that can turn a game around if given the opportunity. Yeah, I think that'll help, especially since Bryce King was left I think, a little bit uh, empty-handed without Mark Ferrari down low. So they couldn't really match up on the Peter Carries and the Colin Boudreaux's last game. One thing Athol did not do last time was shoot real well in this building. and if But I've seen them in action. And I'll tell you what, if they can get going out from the outside and if Ferrari can penetrate on the inside, you get a good inside-out game, all bets are off. This is one of those situations where the Frontier Red Hawks cannot come in resting on their laurels. They've got to come in here ready to play tonight against an Athol team that's upset-minded for sure. I think it could just come down to what Frontier team we've seen. We've seen Frontier play amazing basketball. We've seen them have some uh, forgettable nights. So we'll see here tonight. A quick start is crucial. Let's go down to the floor for the opening of this one. Welcome to this MIAA basketball tournament game. Our guests this evening are the Red Raiders from Athol High School. Participating student athletes, coaches, and contest officials have worked diligently to prepare for today's competition. Please show your appreciation by demonstrating good sportsmanship and respect for all in attendance. Ensure that your behaviors reflect the values that should be identified with these student athletes. Assume responsibility for your behavior and the behavior of those around you. If you require assistance, please call upon an MIAA school or security official. Any verbal, written, or physical conduct related to race, gender, ethnicity, disability, sexual orientation, or religion shall not be tolerated. Could subject the violator to ejection and may result in penalties being assessed against your team. Our great nation has persevered through the leadership and sacrifices of men and women who have served or are currently serving in our armed forces. We invite both veterans and current military personnel to stand. We thank you for your service to our country. Now, for tonight's starting lineups, for Athol, at guard, number three, Bryce King. At guard, number 10, Riley Payne. 
At forward, number four, Mark Ferrari. At forward, number 11, Vinnie Gordon. At forward, number two, Noah Pottinger. At the host coach by Dan Beaton. Now, for Frontier, at guard, number one, Ethan Sean. At guard, number 11, Brett Robinson. At center, number 21, Owen Walker. At forward, number four, Robert Metzel, Brian Curry. We drive for us. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com. Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. The winner of this game gets the winner of Monument Mountain and Palmer. Mm, two with, good, tough teams. And a team, Palmer, that really took it to Frontier earlier this year. Neither one of those are going to be easy outs, but you've got to win this one first to get to Friday night. And if Frontier does win this game, they'll host that game in this building Friday night, and we will be there for that one as well. Frontier Girls, of course, winning last night, beating Palmer. They go up to Wakona Thursday night to take on the number one seed in Division Three. Not going to be an easy task, but if anybody can pull off that upset, it's the Frontier Girls. So the starting five out there for the Athol Red Raiders, Vinnie Gordon, Bryce King, Noah Pottinger, Mark Ferrari, and Riley Payne. And the Hawks counter with their starting five, Mashawn Hoffman, Robinson Carey, and Owen the Skywalker Walkowitz. Eight-minute quarters, 32 minutes. May not decide this one. We'll see what happens. And the winner moves on. Tip controlled by Frontier. Actually, all the way into the backcourt. Hoffman gets it before it goes out of bounds. And we're underway. Mashawn now with the ball. A little three-quarter court pressure by Athol. In the corner, it goes to Robinson. Robinson to carry, tries to feed Walkowitz. Stolen away by Athol. Athol playing aggressive on defense here early. Riley Payne now, left side. Back to King. And back over to Bryce. Bryce now runs across court, goes over to the corner. And Pottinger, or Payne rather, with the shot. Air ball, and we're going the other way. Mashawn now with it. Being guarded by Pottinger over to Hoffman. Hoffman lobs it to Mashawn. Into the front court to Walkowitz. Over to Robinson. B-Rob for three. Misses badly. Rebound pulled down by Athol. Outlet pass to King. King over in the corner. Pottinger spots up. He's got it. That's a three-pointer for Noah Pottinger. And that's dangerous. A big can stretch the floor like that. Mashawn now losing control over in the corner to Carey. Carey goes up strong. Oh, he got Whoa. blocked by a foul. So Peter Carey will go to the line to shoot two as that foul is going to be on Mark Ferrari. And that is a matchup, a one-on-one -on -one matchup yeah. the Bears are watching tonight. This should be the battle of the bigs down low here tonight. Ferrari versus Carey. Neither one of those guys was in the lineup last time these two teams played. First shot is good by Peter Carey. He'll get one more. Tonight's game being brought to you in part by Holiday Pizza, the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. 
Second shot by Peter Carey upcoming. Free throws are so crucial here in the playoffs. And that one does not go. Ball tipped loose. Walkowitz touches it. And King ends up with it. Now loses control briefly and gets it back. Bryce King now. He can go quick. Quick dribble. Left side it goes. And losing control was pain. Battle for it. And the possession arrow is going to favor Athol with 17 to shoot. Yeah, both teams showing they're willing to fight a little gritty here tonight. The sixth man is in the house. Not quite completely white out night, but certainly this is when the fans really play a role, I think, yeah. in these games. And home, and home corner advantage is a real thing. Ferrari, left side. Deep three ball, spins out. Rebound pulled down by Carey to Robinson. Robinson fronted by King. Now Hoffman with it. In the front court, Hoffman to carry in a high post. Left side of the Skywalker, Walkowitz over to Hoffman. Hoffman pulls it out over to Walkowitz in the elbow. Walkowitz flips it out to Nishan, nearly stolen. Robinson for three. Good! Woo! What a response by Frontier. And Frontier has their first lead. Four to three, 6.05 to go in period number one. King now with it. Lobs it into the front court to Payne. Then goes cross court to Pottinger. Pottinger running one hander in the lane. Man. Whew, tough shot, but it goes. 5 4. Michon now. To Hoffman. A little three quarter court pressure by Athol again. Lobs ahead to Walkowitz. And there's a steal. Athol getting a little bit of the sloppy passes here from Frontier. Ferrari now in the middle to King. Lobs left, left side to Pottinger, to Payne, rather. Payne back to Ferrari. Bounce pass to King, a little give and go. Ferrari pull up, jumper, does not go. Nice defense there by Frontier on the low block, the nine Ferrari. Hoffman now with it, Hoffman. Bounce pass ahead to Michon. Ethan, jinks the guy out, goes up and oh, oh, pretty move there. Good play by Ethan Michon, 6-5, two lead changes already to start this game. Vinny Gordon now with it. Gordon to King, King pulls it back. To Noah, Pottinger now to King. Working a weave. King tries to feed Pottinger, stolen by Walkowitz. Good play by Owen to read that. Yeah, excellent defense being played on both ends here. Carey now with it on the left side. Carey in the corner to Robinson. B-Rob now looking for someone to throw it to. Bounce pass to Michon. High post to Carey. Carey being stood up by Pottinger. Right side to B-Rob. Tight man to man by Athol right now to Carey. Carey off the glass of man. Oh, and that's a tough matchup down low that Athol's going to have to figure out. 8-5, Frontier by three. Mini Gordon now, back to Bryce King. King gets a seam, gets bumped by Carey. Carey goes down yeah. hard. Hit the boosters and took some contact on the drive. Got some, his money's worth on that one, so Bryce King will get a couple of shots here. And he's really good well, at they, making... They say it was on the floor. They're yeah. not going to say it was shooting. Yeah, wow. I really thought he was in the act of shooting when he collided with Carey, but yeah. it's... The foul is actually going to be on Brett Robinson, his first, team's first. I thought it was on Peter Carey. It is well. Ferrari. Oh, oh. ejected. Peter Carey got every inch of that one. And Carey sort of shrugs, thought it was off of Ferrari. It was not. King to throw it in. King lobs it out to Pottinger. Almost a five-second yeah, violation. pass. There. Pottinger, left side it goes to Payne. Payne, bounce pass. Gordon. For three, no, carry the rebound. Hands off to Ethan. Deshaun now, bounce pass ahead to Hoffman. High post to Walkowitz, right side to B-Rob. Robinson for three, no. Rebound pulled down by Athol. Couldn't make the defense pay, but you can't leave him open from deep. Ferrari now with it. Hands it off to King. King, top of the key, working on Deshaun. Kicks it outside. Three ball by Payne, and he oh, got hit fouled. on the way up. He's going to get three shots as Walkowitz bumped into yeah, him as he was huge. shooting. You can't get into the shooter's airspace like that. So Riley Payne has a chance to tie this game all by himself with three foul shots. First foul on Walkowitz, team second. First shot by Payne is good. You will get two more. He's got a chance here to tie it up. Second one does not go. And in the playoffs, every point counts. Uh, no question about that. And third shot. That does not go, so he misses two of three. But the rebound controlled 
Now a three ball, spins out. Walkowitz. They got a good second look, but couldn't make it work. Rashawn now with it. Ethan, bounce pass to Hoffman. Hoffman lobs to Walkowitz. Walkowitz back to Donovan. Hoffman calling the play. Bounce pass to Robinson. Robinson in the corner. To Carey, Carey on the elbow. To Michon out by the ring. Very nearly a backcourt yeah. violation. He's gonna watch his feet. Hoffman now to Walkowitz on the foul line. Banks oh. it There was some contact, but there won't be a call. Frontier by four, their largest lead. 10-6, three minutes to go first quarter. In the corner it goes to Ferrari. Back over to Vinnie Gordon. Gordon working a weave now with Pottinger. Bounce pass to Ferrari. Ferrari for three. Air ball. And Walkowitz did a good job yeah. of preventing King from getting near that ball. And Hoffman can box out anybody on those rebounds. Line change for Frontier. Boudreaux is in. This is a great privilege they have of the team over there. They have a very deep bench. Richter's in. Haneski is in and Jones Thompson is in. The only one of the original starting five in there is Carey. Richter, bounce pass to Haneski. Haneski to Carey on the elbow. Carey for three. Spins out, no good. Fight for the rebound. On the ground. Oh, a room out of bounds. And it's going to be Atfall's basketball as Jones Thompson did his best to try to keep that yeah. ball in. Did not happen, though. King now to Pottinger. Haneski now with a little bit of pressure. Up ahead to Payne. Back to Pottinger. Left side to Vinnie Gordon. Gordon tries to feed the paint. Knocked Hit by back. Boudreaux. Driving through his King, and King got fouled by Boudreaux. Bounces the ball off King's head. Yeah, King's really good at driving down low and getting some contact. And, and the thing is, that will draw get people in foul trouble. That's Colin Boudreaux's first, team's third. So Bryce King... The speedster. You get two shots here. First one does not go. Checking into the game for his first minutes is going to be Nathan Heath. He will spell Vinnie Gordon. Second shot upcoming by Bryce King. Good. Makes one of two. Cuts Frontier's lead to just three. 10 7 Frontier, 2 08 to go, first quarter. Haneski. A little three-quarter court pressure. He's been big, big trouble. Hot and Patton, Pottinger had him. Now Jones Thompson into the front court. Over to Haneski. Athol playing really close man-to-man -man here. Haneski to Richter for three. No good. Carry the rebound. Blocked on the way up. by Ferrari. Again, Mark Ferrari making his presence felt. Now Pottinger with it. To King. King pulls it back. Bounce pass, tried to feed the paint. Ball loose. And shot blocked by Carey partially. Pottinger for three partially blocked. And Carey lobs it up head to Boudreaux. Boudreaux off the glass. Got fouled. Didn't get the shot, but he'll get a couple of foul shots. They go to the line. I thought fans not happy about that call. Well, it looked like there was a lot of contact there. Yeah. I'm not sure that that was uh, any question about it was a foul. It's going to be on Bryce King, his first, team second. Colin Boudreaux rocking the white headband. First shot does not go. He will get one more. Some eight twenty left here to go in the first. Boudreaux's second shot misses them both. And it goes off of... Richter, or Jones Thompson rather, and it's going to be a foul ball. Pottinger now with it. Over to King. Frontier running a similar defense to Athol is. King splits the defenders. Now Pottinger has it. Back over to King. King going to go in deep. And it's going to be a travel yeah. on Ferrari. Took an extra step trying to draw contact. He was, trying to, he was trying to get a block against uh, Carey. Carey's going to go out hopping back in. 102 to go in the first quarter. 10-7, Frontier by three. Honesty now with it. To Hoffman. Over to Honesty. Pass blocked oh, rejected. by Ferrari. 
Ferrari. Leaves it off for Payne. Big hit, no call. Yeah. So Richter's going with the other way with it. Richter ahead to Jones Thompson, too far over his head, and they're going the other way. I don't know why that wasn't a foul on the other end. Wow. There's a lot of contact. Ref's letting it play here, though. Ferrari inbounds to King. King over to Pottinger. Noah from the elbow. Trying to drive through. Left side to Ferrari. Ferrari traveled again. Mm. Again, good defense by Jones Thompson. Yeah. French are doing a good job shutting off that baseline drive. Athol's trying. And checking into the game Ian is Spirance. Ian Sperance. So the, the troika of point guards. Yeah. Ian Sperance now in there. Sperance up ahead, bounce pass. Picked up by Boudreaux, kind of an errant pass. Cross court to Sperance. Sperance drives the baseline, shut off, back to Hoffman. Hoffman. Driving through, kicks it back to Richter. Richter drives on the baseline, lays it up. Fouled on the way through by Nathan Heath, and Richter will get a couple of shots here. And this is what Frontier wants to do. They want to fight down low, they want to fight outside. They'll fight on all the fronts. Richter will shoot two here. First shot, good. He'll get one more. Chance to extend this lead to five with 12 seconds left in the first quarter. And misses the second. Rebound pulled down by Ferrari. That's Pottinger. Pottinger kicks it out to King. King, this is the baseline. Nice feed to Heath. He lays it up, and then that's how the quarter will end. We played one quarter from Good No Gymnasium. At the end of one quarter, it's Frontier 11, Athol 9. This is the MIAA Division Three Boys Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by... Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins, Zach Lino, Kevin Murphy, Alec Eckel, Megan Self, and Josh the Camera Guy, all here at Frontier Community Access Television. Good No Gymnasium. Second quarter action upcoming, end to end all the way. Not the sharpest quarter we've seen, but very entertaining so far. Frontier and Athol have traded blows here early. We've been traded to a good game so far. Original starting five in there for Frontier. Hoffman to Michon. Michon, wraparound pass. Tried to feed Walkowitz on the high post and couldn't get it to him. So Ferrari with the steal. Ferrari now. Bounce pass on the right side. And dish back off to Ferrari in the paint. Back to Pottinger. Pottinger up, takes, drives the lane. And running one-hander is no good. Rebound Hoffman. Sean now with it. Lobs it up ahead to B-Rob. Robinson over to Hoffman. In the corner to Carey. Carey back to Hoffman. Right side to Robinson. They push it around to Michon. Michon down low to to. Carey fights his way through coverage, lays it up and in. 13-9, Frontier by four. Athol's going to watch Frontier's great passing game. King is deflected by Carey out of bounds. Athol will keep it. And now checking in Jet Castillo for his first in minutes. And who's going to come off? We've got six guys out there. Somebody's uh -oh. got to come off. And it's going to be Riley Payne.
Throw into King. Bryce now. And guarded by Michonne. The Pottinger. To Vinny Gordon. Gordon back in the middle of Ferrari in high post. To King. Back out to Gordon. Gordon spots up for three. No good. Just caught rim. Yeah, got the good look, but couldn't convert it. Robinson the rebound. Robinson back over to Michonne. To Hoffman. Hoffman drives the baseline on Just shot. Off. No good. Spun off the top of the rim. Rebound controlled by Athol. Both teams a little bit cold right now. King with it. King loses control driving through. Gets it back. And stolen back by Frontier. A lot of turnovers yeah. in this quarter. Frontier defenders were all over King as soon as he started driving down low. Rashawn to Robinson. Robinson. Cross court to Hoffman. Hoffman. High post to Walkowitz in the corner to Robinson. Robinson for three. Spins out. He's a sniper. They got to be careful. And a reach in foul wow. on Carey as he poked King as he was going up court. So that's, that's the last thing you want to do if you're Frontier. That's the first one on uh, Peter, though. Team's fourth. He'll inbound it in front of the Athol bench. 6 9 to go in the half. Pottinger back to King as the Raiders set it up. Pottinger, top of the key. Left side it goes to Ferrari. Ferrari hands off to King. King spots up for three. No good. Carry the rebound. Two and two close three attempts on both ends. Hoffman now. In the corner to Walkowitz. Up fakes. Walkowitz back to Carey. To Hoffman. Back to Walkowitz in the baseline. He got fouled by Ferrari on the way up. Looked like a pretty good block, but also a lot of contact. So Frontier's muscling their way inside now. That's two fouls on Ferrari team's fourth. And Athol's got to be careful. He don't have a massive roster to work with. Richter getting ready to check back in for Frontier. Walkowitz, first one is good. Richter in, B-Rob out. Walkowitz can make it a six point lead for Frontier. And does not go. Rebound pulled down by Athol. Kings, pass. Let's get pass way ahead to Gordon. Oh, rejected by Gary. Bryce King tried to go for a little layup and Peter Carey said, nope. Yeah. I mean, look at the size differential between <laughs> those two. Should have been a hint enough not to drive on them. I'm not sure they're even the same species. I mean, that's just unfair <laughs> at that point. I think it's about two of King stacked on top of each other equal Peter Carey. King to throw it in. Lobs it out to Pottinger. Noah now with it. Noah running one-hander through the lane. Front of the iron, no good. Off with the rebound. Athol having a real problems right now scoring at all. And losing control was Richter. King. Picked his pocket, wow, lays it up. Fouled from behind by a Richter, and Bryce King, the speedster, will go to the line for a couple of shots. This is Athol's game plan. Get you in foul trouble early. That uh, Athol score has been stuck on nine since the start of this quarter. Yeah. King's first shot does not go. A funny feeling that's going to come back to yeah. really a, a bit of regret later on in the game. This that's free throw is going to haunt shots. you later on. King second shot. That goes. He makes one of two. 14-10. Frontier by four. Five minutes to go in the half. Michonne. Bounce pass head to Richter. To Carey. Carey on the elbow. Cross court to Michonne. Michonne drives through. Lays it up. Nice arrow step. Yes, ma'am. 16-10, Frontier by six. Pottinger with it now. To King, Bryce, spots up for three. Air ball. Yeah, looks like he was trying to get a call on the jump shot, but there's the air ball chance from the Frontier fans. Historically, Athol has had challenges shooting in the first half. Mm. I think King might have a little bit of blood. Yeah. He's going to come off. And Athol is one of these teams where they can creep back up on you in the later game. Heath now, I think, I think King might have a, bloody, a bit of a bloody nose. Yeah. So Heath is in for King. I don't think King will be out for long. Mashon up ahead to Carey. Carey to 
Walkowitz to Carey. Carey on the baseline, off the glass. Hacked on the way up. So Peter Carey will go to the hard way if he can. You notice the game plan there though for Frontier. As soon as Ferrari went out, they pushed it down low to Carey. A foul is on Manny O'Leary who just checked in. It's his first, team's fifth. Carey's first shot does not go. You will get one more. Second one. Does not go. Gets his own rebound, though. Wrap around pass down low. Outside the walk. It's off the glass. And it is. So they got the two points, but they got them in a very unconventional way. Timeout on the floor. We'll take the break. Frontier's largest lead, eight points. It's the Hawks, 18. The Red Raiders, 10. This is the NIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. The next person that stands in front of our table is going to get smacked in the head. <laughs> Wish we had like little wipers to scoot them away. So I think it's going to be kind of a chess match here, though, because... Well, it's not going to be if they don't start making... If Alphonse start making some shots, it's not going to be. It's going to be a blowout. Well, the thing is, they just lost King briefly to that nose injury, and they took out Ferrari for not even a minute, and then immediately Frontier's on the low block attacking. Yeah, I agree. Alphonse needs to get some scoring here quick. All right, three... Two, one. So the Red Hawks, courtesy of that Owen Walkowitz layup on the baseline, have opened up their largest lead in this game, 18 to 10. And Athol has got to figure out a way to put the ball in the hole because that's the only thing missing right now. They're playing pretty good defense, and they're kind of containing Athol or Frontier a little bit. And Frontier's known for starting a little slow here, and they're off to a good pace so far. Pottinger with it now. Lobs it over to Payne. Payne in the corner, try to feed O'Leary in the paint, knocked away by Carey. Up ahead to Richter, fast break, he gets oh, hacked on the way up contact. by Pottinger. And Richter will go to the line. That's gonna be, I think, two on Pottinger, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Six team foul, no, actually that's only one on Pottinger, okay, so. Only one foul on Noah, I mean, guys, money's worth out of that one. <laughs> Richter's first shot is good. He will get one more. King back in, and Heath out. And Richter can play both sides of the court very well, defense and offense. He's a great six man for Frontier. Arguably the best six man in the league. Richter misses the second. Carry the rebound, though, put back oh. in. It's all breaking uh, right now for front Frontier for sure. And that is unstoppable. The lead is now 11. Pottinger now, bounce pass to King. King bottled up, big trouble. Yeah, tries to rubble, rubble through. Oh, oh, rejected by Carey, and Kareem's again, off the glass. Carey rejects King. Richter to Carey. Carey kicks it to Michon in the corner. Michon for three, new. Tipped out, Carey though gets it. Carey puts it up. Jump shot, foul. And he got, oh. did not go, almost did, but Carey will go to the line. And I think he gets three shots, I think. Was he beyond the arc? Thought he was. I guess we'll see. Oh, it's only two. He must have been right inside the arc. Just give me a second on King. That's pretty huge. Carey's first shot is good. We'll get one more. That makes it 22 to 10. Ferrari back in, and O'Leary is out. So Ferrari and King. Both with two fouls. Athol just trying to stem the bleeding here. Second shot is good. So he makes them both. 23-10, 13-point Frontier lead. Three and a half to go in the half. King goes left side to Ferrari. Ferrari to Pottinger. Over in the corner. Three ball. No good. Ferrari the rebound, though. Ferrari. Oh, Gets nice carry up fake. In the That was a great move. By Mark Ferrara, his first points of the game. Yeah, he had Carey jumping. Mashawn to Hoffman, ahead to Carey. Carey, bounce pass to Mashawn. 
Hoffman now with it. Hoffman loses control, kicks it back. And bounce pass down low to Carey. Carey pulls it back out to the elbow. Carey to Richter, Richter for three. Good! Huge three there by Frontier. 26 to 12, Frontier by 14. Hottinger to King. Over in the corner. Athol needs a run in quick. Hottinger, hook shot, doesn't go. Tipped out, Hoffman. King got blown out by yeah. Carey there. Hit the deck hard. Hoffman hits his pocket pick, knocked loose off the glass, no good by Jones Thompson. Rebound. Athol good D that time. Gordon now, Vinny. Ferrari will take a three. Got it! He can shoot too. Timeout on the floor, we'll take the break. 2.07 to go in the half. It is Frontier 26, Athol 15. This is the MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. <laughs> so a big three-pointer I Mark Ferrari. Suddenly he has five points in about 30 seconds. And that may just be what Athol needs to get the pilot lit on their offense as they still trail by 11 with 2.07 to go in the half. And I think Frontier just needs to slow it down a little bit here, not let it get away from him. They control the tempo so far. Hoffman throws it into Michon. Ethan. Passed to Hoffman, not a good pass. Yeah, the pass was tipped. Hottinger lays it up and in. Unforced error there. And well, suddenly the lead is back down to nine. Yeah, we said Athol needs a run, and they're giving it one. Hoffman up ahead to Boudreaux. And Boudreaux. Yeah, he got hit hard in the head. A lot of contact. And they're going to call a foul on King. That's three on Bryce. He's got to be careful. I think he's going to be coming off. They can ill afford to lose him. Jake LaMarche is going to check in for King. And Boudreaux is at the line for a one and one, as that was the 18th foul on Athol. First shot by Colin is good. Jake Kineski checked in free from the Sean. He will get one more. And makes them both. 28-17. Frontier with the lead. 144 to go in the half. Ferrari now with it. Crosses the timeline. Draws double coverage. He's hemmed up. Gets it away, and the pass ahead. Oh, no. Intended for LaMarche. Yeah. So that was a great bit of defense there by Frontier to hem up Ferrari and force a couple of bad passes. Some good basketball IQ there. Hoffman now with it. Haneski into the front court. Haneski to Boudreau on the elbow. Boudreau finds carry on the baseline for Richter. Hook shot good. <laughs> Clicking right now for Frontier. Yeah. Payne now. Kick that's going to be a reset. As Hoffman intercepted that pass with his foot. Yep. I'd say a slightly kick. <laughs> Pottinger will throw it in for Athol right in front of us. Into Riley Payne. Payne driving on Haneski. Makes it back out. Three-pointer, no good. Carey right there for the rebound to Haneski. Minute left to go in the court, in the half, rather. Haneski now needs some help. Hoffman comes back to help him out. Back to Jake. Jake crosses the timeline. Haneski, shut off. Jake now with it. Bounce pass in the elbow. Richter now to Carey. Carey, jumper on the baseline, no good. Payne the rebound. Kane runs it up. Nice bullet pass on the baseline. Oh, oh blocked Carey. by Carey again. Another block by Carey you again. You can't go at Carey like that. Don't Vinny Gordon down just got Peter abused Carey. twice. Hadeski now with it. Over to Hoffman. Shot clock is off. 16 seconds left. Boudreaux on the baseline to Richter. Nobody Nailed was it. there. 32-17. Seven seconds left. Frontier starting to blow the doors off the barn here. Oh my, whoa. 
Riley Payne dribbled it off his own foot. He's going to try and argue for a foul. It's not going to work. One second left. Robinson in. Boudreau out. Looks like they'll run a play. Hoffman ahead to Carey. Carey jumper on the baseline. Oh. Just missed it. And that will be the end of the first half. We played one half of basketball at the end of one half. It's Frontier 32, half ball 17. This is the MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials. Across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Chris Collins, Zach Lino back out here at Goodno Gymnasium. Second half action upcoming MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament. Opening round action. The Frontier Red Hawks are 16 minutes away from advancing to the quarterfinals. If they do win, they will play tonight, uh, actually Friday night, in this building against the winner of the Monument Mountain Palmer game, which is being played right now. So pick your poison, either a tough team from the Berkshires or a team that's already sort of serve Frontier its lunch earlier this season. I think Frontier would love to have another crack at the Panthers. Yeah. Starting five out there. Original starting five for the Hawks. As they'll move left to right to start for this half, actually. And the Hawks are up by 15. Definitely a very significant lead, especially in a playoff game. Bryce King to throw it in in front of us. King playing with three fouls. Mark Ferrari playing, I believe, with two. Pottinger now goes right side. Back in the middle to King. King hands off to Pottinger, working a weave. Goes over to Vinnie Gordon. Vinnie Gordon sees a seam off the glass. High off the glass, no good. Pottinger rebound put back over Carey, no good. And Carey comes away with the rebound. Peter Carey's got over 10 rebounds tonight. Robinson to Carey, to feed the high post and stolen by King. King on Michon lays it up, does not uh -huh. go. But draws the blocking foul on Michon and Bryce King will get two shots. And if you're Athol, you just gotta slowly start chipping away here. You still got two quarters left. Bryce King. First shot is good. He'll get one more. Bryce King has three points, all of them foul shots in this game. Has not had a field goal, largely because of the efforts of <laughs> Peter Carey. Yep. Was blocked in solidly at least three times. But you know, making your free throws count, especially in a game like this, is huge. Second free throw goes. King makes them both. 32-19. Walkowitz up ahead to Hoffman. Donovan. Crazy looking scoop yeah. shot. And the rebound controlled by Athol. Ferrari came back and bumped Hoffman after Hoffman yeah, gave, him a smile there. gave him a little smack. Ferrari now losing control, gets it back. Right side to Payne. Payne on the right side. Payne pulls up for an NBA three. Air ball. Yeah, yeah. 
Pottinger cannot keep it in, it's frontier ball. And if you're at a fall, that's just not the jump shot you want. Is it well, it had a good three. line, just didn't have enough juice on it. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 you gotta know that you've got enough on the shot before you take something like that. Now a little pressure in the front court by Athol. Mashan goes up strong, doesn't go. And rebound comes down to Payne, who loses control. Walkowitz, now Payne goes sliding, and a travel on Walkowitz. Mm. So again, kind of ragged play here. So a quick back and forth. Vinny Gordon to throw it in. Left side of coast to Ferrari for three. No good. He hit one earlier. One and out. Carry the rebound to Michon. Ethan to Donovan. Up ahead to Walkowitz in the corner. And a three-pointer by Robinson. Oh. Is an air ball and a foul. I believe on Michon. I think it is going to be on Ethan. Robinson out, Richter in. That's two quick ones on Ethan Michon. Good news for Frontier is they have two other point guards they can put in. Yeah, they've got a deep point guard position. King now, up ahead to Pottinger. Back to King. King stops. King off the glass, kind of a crazy looking yeah. shot. Carry the rebound. Ahead to Richter. Richter to Hoffman, Hoffman off the glass and in. Nice unselfish basketball play there. 34-19. And a steal by Mashan. Mashan up ahead to Hoffman. Hoffman oh, got a hammer. Really hard. They might go with a technical here. That's a that's a flagrant foul yeah. call for sure. They grabbed his neck on the way down. That was really a hard foul. That's scary. And no, you can't do that. <laughs> the Frontier Six men telling the truth. So Hoffman goes over to the bench. I'm not sure what the discussion is going to go. Hoffman's going to go to the line. I thought he might have had a bloody nose because he yeah. hit the ground really hard. But put the foul on Payne. First shot by Hoffman's good. So I believe it'll be two shots on the ball. Yeah. He's got three points tonight so far. And that one he missed. So 35-19, Frontier by 16. And they will inbound underneath the Athol basket. Into Walkowitz. Walkowitz, bounce pass out to Hoffman. Cross court skip pass. Three pointer does not go by Richter. Oh foul. Rebound oh. put back by Walkowitz is blocked. Richter gets it back. And there's a steal. King off to the races, lays it up and in. Bryce King's first field goal of the game. Yep. 35 21. Bodies hitting the floor. Ethan Mashan the break. Mashan dribbled through containment, laid it up, drew the foul. It's going to be on Vinnie Gordon. And Mashan, not somebody who often shows that wow. much intensity, but he's pumped up. Got it, Bates. Winner go home. That's the first foul on uh, Vinnie Gordon, second on the team in this half. Ethan's first one does not go. He will get one more. Second shot is good. So he makes one of two. Frontier by 15, 527 to go in the third. Up ahead to Gordon. Gordon in big trouble. Gets it back to King. Oh, yeah. King got hip-checked by Michonne. That's going to be three fouls on Ethan. And they're going to have to get Haneski off the bench. I mean, you want to talk about a physical basketball game. This is a great example. Ethan's really pumped up. Put uh, Athol inbounds. King now with it. Goes cross-court to Pottinger. Noah now. Behind the back. Over to King. King to Payne, Payne to Ferrari. Ferrari trying to work. 
Inside, pull up, jumper over, carry is good. So Mark Ferrari. He's got a nice little jump shot down low. And that's a kick. That's gonna be a reset of the shot clock. And Haneski, or other Hoffman will throw it in in front of the outfall bench with a fresh 30. Into Haneski. Yeah, outfall's going to apply a lot of pressure here. Up ahead to Richter. Richter. Down, bounce past the front. Looking for Walkowitz. Couldn't get it to him. Up ahead. Pottinger trying to feed Ferrari. Stolen by Richter. Richter. Right side to Hoffman. Hoffman on the elbow. Hoffman drives the baseline. Lays it up. Does not go. Ferrari the rebound. Rips it away from Carey. Mark Ferrari with it. Left side to Pottinger. Pottinger, lefty three, does not go. Carry the rebound. Athol has not been good from three-point land tonight. Yeah, they're in a pretty big dry spell right now. Hoffman to Haneski. Haneski to Richter. Richter up fakes. Richter cross court to Hoffman. Hoffman takes a bump and gets fouled as Ferrari thought he had him blocked. And that yeah. was a foul. Ferrari can't believe the call right now. Don't talk too much, Mark. It's three fouls on him. Hoffman will go shoot two. So you got a couple of Raiders in foul trouble right now. King and Ferrari, arguably their two best players. First shot by Hoffman does not go. Timeout, Frontier will take the break. 4.13 to go in the third. It is Frontier 36, Athol 23. This is the MIAA Division Three Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. And back from the timeout, Colin Boudreaux checks into the game for the Frontier Red Hawks, replacing Walkowitz. So Donovan Hoffman will get a second shot here off the foul on Mark Ferrari. Ferrari still talking to the ref. Yeah, he's still not happy about it. At this point, we want to talk too much and get technical. Hoffman's second shot upcoming. And he doesn't make that one. Rebound controlled by Athol. Ooh, Ferrari very yeah. nearly. A backcourt violation. Deep, Deep three, no good. He follows his own play. Oh, wow. Energizing play there by Mark Ferrari. Haneski now with it. Haneski ahead to Richter. Richter for three. Yep. Oh, pump fake and scores it. Nobody near him, why not take the shot? He can make that shot, as we saw. Pottinger, back to King. King, skip pass ahead into the front court to Ferrari. Ferrari to Pottinger. Pottinger to King. King for three. That does not go. They hit front iron. Ferrari the rebound, but travel yeah. as he went to the ground. Ferrari out jumped Hoffman, but hit his knees. It was a series of unfortunate events for Athol. It's starting to mount. I don't think that Ferrari and Hoffman like each other. No. <laughs> a lot Figures, of contact tonight between those two. I think there's a little bit of bad blood between the two teams. Haneski up ahead to Richter. Richter to Carey. Carey blocked on the shot. Now Boudreaux cross court. This bounces off Richter's foot. Travel. Up ahead to Ferrari. I don't know why that wasn't a travel. Carey with the poke on Ferrari. Makes the ball back. Hoffman down with it. Hoffman to Boudreaux. Boudreaux will take the jumper, does not go. King the rebound. King, long lead pass, off the glass and in! Oh, what a play! Loses his shoe. He did lose his shoe. Just leaving it there. That was Payne playing with one shoe. Riley Let's Payne has one shoe. Carey, over to Boudreaux, back to Carey. Turn around jumper, does not go. Rebound King the King. rebound. Up ahead of the one shoed Payne, oh. stolen by Haneski. Haneski has it. To Carey now. Carey to Hoffman. Riley Payne is still playing with one shoe. Haneski wrap around pass to Carey off the glass. Doesn't go. Defended well by Ferrari. Pottinger has it. <laughs> He's still out there with one shoe. Pottinger with it. Pottinger jump step lays it up off the glass. Too strong. Would row the rebound. He might go to the rest of the quarter without a shoe. Five half-all players and nine shoes. Carey now with it. 
Carey on the baseline being heavily guarded. Three pointer by Rick. Oh, it'll roll in. Got the bounce. Timeout. Frontier will take the break. And the Hawks are blowing it open. 145 to go in the third. Frontier 41. Half all 27. This is the MIAA Division III Western Mass Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. It's a wild third quarter, but Sean Richter with a couple of big threes has kind of broken things open a little bit for the Frontier Red Hawks. Yeah. As they seem firmly in control of this while there's a lot of ragged play on both sides. Richter's definitely been the player here so far tonight for Frontier. King up ahead to Pottinger. Back over to King. Bryce now into the front court. King feeds the baseline to Ferrari. Ferrari, jump step, draws triple coverage. Vinnie Gordon for three, no go. Hoffman the deep rebound to Haneski. Minute 25 to go in the third. Haneski up ahead to Richter. Richter's pass stolen by Pottinger. Pottinger. Oh. Off the glass and in. That little left-handed layup. Yeah, that was a mismatch on the defense frontier. Not much you could do there. 41-29. We travel. travel on Haneski, well defended by Pottinger. They're really using the mismatch there whenever Haneski comes in, they really pressure him hard. Heath in, Gordon out for Athol. Payne to throw it in with both shoes on his feet. <laughs> Lobs it back out deep to Ferrari. Ferrari bounce pass to Pottinger right side. Pottinger to King. King. To Ferrari, Ferrari for three, good! Huge shot there for Athol. Well, when he starts to heat up, look out, 41-32. 48 seconds to go in the third. Pass up head to Gabe Jones-Thompson. Deflected by King out of bounds, Frontier will keep it. Yeah, and what do we say about Athol? They like to creep back in. Jones-Thompson to throw it in for Frontier. He does to Boudreaux. Boudreaux, hook shot on the baseline, no good. Rebound pulled down and thrown away oh, by no. Nathan Heath. Jones Thompson will inbound in front of his own bench. Peter Carey getting ready to check back in. He does. Only a seven second difference between shot and game clock. Might as well just use up as much of the clock as you can here. Michonne will sit down. Athol manning up. Inbound to Hoffman. Donovan now to Haneski. Right side. Jones Thompson to Boudreaux on the baseline. Boudreaux to Carey. Carey off the glass. Spins out. Second effort. Good. And that's just pure hustle. Be able to get your own shot off the rebound. 11 point lead for Frontier. Shot clock is off. 18 seconds left. King now with it. Left side to Ferrari. Ferrari with it, being guarded by Jones Thompson. Right side to Pottinger, Pottinger. Four seconds to left. Ferrari. Ferrari will take a three, didn't go. Jones Thompson the rebound, that's the end of the third quarter. We played three quarters from Goodno Gymnasium at the end of three. Frontier 43 and Athol 32. This is the MIAA Division III Western Mass Boys Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Support for FCAT's coverage of high school sports provided by Arista. Arista Networks pioneered software-driven cognitive cloud networking for large-scale data center and campuses. Arista.com Holiday Pizza in the center of South Deerfield. Holiday Pizza is the official pizza of Frontier Community Access Television. Attorney Dan Graves, Esquire. In addition to being Deerfield's town moderator, Dan is a practicing attorney. Call his Greenfield Law Office at 773-8706. Webbs, America's Yarn Store in Northampton. Kathy and Steve Elkins are longtime supporters of local sports. Visit them at yarn.com. Cheslick's Market. Great coffee, snacks, a full deli, and fantastic lunch specials across from the Common in the center of South Deerfield. Frontier Red Hawks, eight minutes away from advancing to the quarterfinals of the MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament as they lead 43-32 over the Athol Red Raiders. 
will need to do something in a hurry here. Inbound to Mashan. Mashan, Woodrow's uh, pass stolen yeah. by Ferrari. Wrapped Ferrari quickly. Gets his guy in the air, gets stripped on the way up. Steal back by Jones Thompson. Traveling on Mashan as he got bumped into. Yeah, that might have called a charge there. Well, he's lucky. He has three fouls. That could have been a charge. It would have been four. Inbounds to King. King to Pottinger. Pottinger to Ferrari, top of the key. We're going to weave. Ferrari now. Pulls it back. Bounce pass on the right side to Pottinger. Pottinger back out to Payne. Payne. Hook shot from oh, it top goes. of the key, it looked like. And that's two points for Ferrari. So he's definitely cut fire in the second half. 43-34. Half all by nine. Hoffman travels. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Athol's gaining momentum. Well, this is exactly what happened in the fourth quarter of the Greenfield game in Athol. Athol started making some shots, and Greenfield broke down a little bit. Let's hope history does not repeat itself as the Hawks hanging on now to a nine-point lead. Athol with the basketball. And Athol's trimmed it about nine a few times so far, but can they get it lower? King to Ferrari. Ferrari feeds the baseline back to Ferrari. Ferrari driving through. Pull up jumper. Does not go. Carry the rebound. Carry to Mashon. Up ahead to Hoffman. Back to Mashon. Mashon bounce pass. Jones Thompson. Walkowitz in the paint. No good. Walkowitz gets the rebound. Goes up and loses control out of bounds. I believe that it got rejected there by Ferrari. Frontier will keep it though. Mashon inbound underneath the basket. Sean throws it in. And Jones Thompson off the glass and in. Pottinger now. Bounce pass to King. Bryce King falls down. Oh, yeah. Jones Frontier's Thompson. got numbers. Up ahead to Michonne. Off the glass and in. No, they're going to leave it off. Oh, the travel on him. Oh. Timeout Athol will take the break. 6.27 to go in this one. It's Athol trailing Frontier 45-34. This is the MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Chris Collins, Zach Lino, and the FCAT crew out here at Goodnote Gymnasium as the Frontier Red Hawks clinging to an 11-point lead with 6.27 to go in this one. Pottinger to throw it in for Athol underneath his own basket. Jones Thompson, Walkowitz, Carey, Hoffman, and Mashon, the five on the floor for Frontier. And Ferrari's really been contributing to a big late Athol push here. Pottinger with it now. Over to King. King now directing traffic. Gets a screen. King runs right side to Pottinger. Pottinger drives through. Hook shot in the lane in front of the iron. No good. Carry the rebound to Hoffman. Oh. Uh -oh. Lost King. Up ahead to Mashon. Mashon's jumper does not go. Carry the rebound. Put back. Good. 47-34. That might just do it here for Athol. Pottinger with it now to King. King drives through. Dishes it out. Jumper, wild one from Heath. Rebound controlled by Frontier. Mashon now. Dribbling through. Left side. Three-pointer for Hoffman's good. Frontier's firing on all cylinders. And the lead's back up to 16. 50-34. Pottinger to King. Back to Pottinger. Pottinger drives the baseline. Wave off that basket. Foul on the floor. Going to be on Peter Carey, I believe. Or no, it's going to be on Jones Thompson, it looks like. I think Frontier's woken back up here a little bit. Well, uh, we've got five minutes, 13 seconds to go, and a 16-point lead. It's looking good, but it's not over yet. Yeah. And it's basketball. Things can change quick. King inbounds it to O'Larry and a foul. 
by Hoffman, I believe. Carey sits down on the floor. I'm not sure what's going on there. Although oh, he's he rubbing his pain. calf. Uh-oh. Oh, no. That's not good. Yeah, he had a calf problem before. Well, that's the partially torn calf. He's going to come off. And you may not see him again. He sat down on the floor as if to indicate an injury. Yeah. Inbound pass taken by Richter. Richter ahead to Jones Thompson. Jones Thompson fronts his man, gets fouled on the way up. Foul's going to be on O'Leary. And... Two shots for Gabe Jones-Thompson. You worry about Pierre Carey, especially if Frontier goes deep in the playoffs. First shot by Jones-Thompson is no good. They're going to try and stretch that calf out. It could just be a cramp. But I'm surprised with a partially yeah. torn calf muscle, he's not got some kind of wrap on there. Jones-Thompson's second shot is good. He makes one of two. 51-34. Five minutes to play. King. Oh, Blocking foul is going to be called. Oh, no. Didn't have his feet set on the defense. On Jones events. Thompson. That's two on Jones Thompson. One more. And it's going to be a one and one. And one more foul. King inbounds to Pottinger. Pottinger runs the right side. And a deep three is no good. Ball knocked out of bounds by Walkowitz. Athol will keep it. Fresh 30. Pottinger out. And Vinny Gordon back in for Athol. King to throw it in. Throws it out to Ferrari. Ferrari drives through. And a running one-hander is no good. Rebound pulled down by Jones Thompson. Jones Thompson bounce pass to Hoffman. Donovan to, Car to Richter. Back to Donovan Hoffman. Off and right side to Richter. Richter spots up for three. Does not go. Good rebound and a put back. Oh, in. yes. Hustle by play by Gabe Jones Thompson. Jones Thompson has five points in this half. Ferrari's pass is tipped by Hoffman. That kind of hurt Donovan's hand <laughs> a little bit. Athol will inbound with 25 to shoot. 425 on the game clock. Thrown in to King. King. Carey. Ah, uh, yep. Or that was obvious. Yeah. You don't he, often see him do that. Yeah, he knew as soon as he did it, too. Inbounds pass coming from Hoffman to Michon. Ethan now with it. Crosses half court. Hoffman now with it. Hoffman to Walkowitz. Walkowitz to Michon. Michon to Jones Thompson. Pull up jumper from 12 is no good. And out of bounds, Athol basketball. 4.02 to go in the game. Frontier with a 53-34 lead. It's looking really good for Frontier. Gordon now lobs it up ahead to King. And bounce pass on the elbow. Gets it back to Gordon. Gordon takes the three. This is the baseline looking for O'Leary off of Walkowitz, actually. Man. So Athol will keep it with 17 to shoot. King lobs it in. Deep three from Gordon. Does not go. Walkowitz, deep rebound. Outlet to Michon all by himself. Lays it up. Got foul on the way up, though, by Gordon. Missed the shot. So Ethan Michon will go to the line to shoot a couple of free throws with 3.41 to go. Yeah, second time at the line tonight. It's two fouls on Vinnie Gordon. And two shots for the starting point guard for the Frontier Red Hawks, Ethan Michon. Junior. First shot is good. He'll get one more. Pottinger back in. O'Leary out for Athol. Frontier up by 20 points here. That's their largest lead so far. Or actually, no, 25 was their largest lead, I thought. Second shot is no good. Rebound put back by Jones Thompson. And that's the nail in the coffin. 56-34, Pottinger now with it. They cannot trade baskets anywhere. They're going to make a stop, and that's not going to help. Still in by Walkowitz. Back to Hoffman. Now, Frontier could take some time off the clock here. Yeah, you control the game to slow the tempo for Frontier. Michon going to the quarter. Three-pointer by 
Strict is no good. Long lead pass ahead and up and in by Riley Payne. Timeout Alpha will take the break. 3.12 to go in this one. It's a 20 point Frontier lead. Frontier 56, AFL 36. It's the MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Frontier will inbound the basketball with 3.12 to go in this one. <coughs> the Hawks close to clinching. A chance to host a second round game Friday night against the winner of Monument Mountain and Palmer. Hoffman to throw it in on the baseline. He does to Walkowitz. Back to Hoffman over to Bashan. Ethan splits the D. Running one hander and the lane is good. Oh, that was pretty late for Bashan. Call him Rashawn Bashan on that one. 58 36. 22 point lead and a reach in foul. He's going to be called on Hoffman as he got a piece of Ferrari going through. And that will be a one and one for. Mark Ferrari has had a strong second half, strong game overall, but definitely has been the best player for Athol in the second half. Ferrari's first one does not go. Walkowitz the rebound to Mashan. They miss free throws. Those can be crushing. Mashan up ahead to Walkowitz. Walkowitz now with it. It's a daughter and Hoffman. Hoffman. The corner to Richter. Richter to Hoffman. To Michon. Michon. Bounce pass to Hoffman. Hoffman for three. Does not go. Good rebound by Ferrari. Ferrari bullet pass ahead to Payne. Payne turnaround jumper partially blocked. King now for three. Yep. He can shoot the ball. It's his first three of the night. Now Michon in some trouble in the backcourt. And here's a steal by Vinny Gordon. Gordon to Pottinger. Pottinger drives the baseline, running one-hander is off the glass, no good. Hoffman the rebound. 58-39 Frontier. Two frontier minutes to, to play. Slow it down. Jones Thompson now with it. In big trouble. Needs some help. Goes cross court to Mashawn. Ethan dribbles it back out. Smart play. Tried to Hawks feed stolen by King. Skywalker, but King stole it. King lays it up and in. Bryce King and Mark Ferrari have been playing for their team's survival here tonight. 17-point Frontier lead, though. Hoffman to Richter, up ahead to Michon. Jones Thompson got his guy up in the air. Ferrari, yeah. hard foul on Ferrari. Jones Thompson hits the deck, and he will go to the line to shoot. And there's some bad blood between these two teams. Now, Ferrari... Ferrari has been known to be a chippy player. Like I said, he was not at the last game because of a fight he got into with Mason Meadows for Greenfield. They both got tossed out of that game in Athol, the one that Athol won. And that's four fouls on him. Jones Thompson's first shot is no good. He will get one more. A couple subs coming in for Athol right now. Jake LaMarche is back in, and Ferrari is going to come out. Ferrari is one of the seniors on this team. Yeah. I don't know if you're going to see him again. You might not. Jones Thompson, second shot upcoming. He makes that one. Makes one of two. 59-41. 18-point lead. The warm up the bus chant is underway. They have not yet begun to sing <laughs> in the sixth minute, but that's coming. King for three. That was partially blocked on the way up. And Hoffman the rebound to Michon. And a timeout on the floor. We will take the break. 1.18 to go in this one. Roll up the bus indeed. Frontier 59, Athol 41. The MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television. Playback on now. In the game is Aiden Hernandez along with Ian Spirance. Kaczynski now for three as Gabe checked in. Out of bounds. DJ's in there as well, as is Garrick Brinda. So the bench cleared for Frontier. So every Frontier player will get a little bit of play time tonight. Aiden Hernandez. Kaczynski deep three. Back rim no good. Rebound to Pottinger. Less than a minute to play. 59-41. This one is over. 
Just a matter of running the clock out. And they're going to bring in some subs from Athol as yeah. well. So you basically got some JV time being played yeah. now. Good gestures by the coach. So Frontier will make it past the first round of the playoffs. They'll play either Palmer or Mountain. And the inbound pass out, goes out of bounds. It's still going to be Athol basketball. Not a bad season for Athol. No. They did a really good job to even get into this tournament. Ball is thrown in. Turnaround jumper does not go. Rebound by DJ. Hernandez has it down. 27 seconds on the shot clock, 43 on the game clock. Aiden now loses the handle. Actually, it was tipped out of bounds by Athol, so Frontier will keep it. 17 second difference between shot clock and game clock. And they throw it in. Aiden Hernandez will spot up for three. Good! Oh! What a Big way to go out. He's in the book. 30 seconds left. Crazy looking scoop shot, no good. Bring to the rebound. Shot clock is off and Frontier can dribble it out. And yes, for oh, no. oh no, they lost control of the ball. Now Spirance has it. And yes, Virginia, yep. there will be a quarterfinal game on Friday night here at Goodnow Gymnasium. Gachinski hangs on, and that is going to be your final. It's over. The Frontier Red Hawks advance in the Western Mass Division Three basketball playoffs with a 62-41 win over the Athol Red Raiders. Got to give it to Athol, though. They play with a lot of grit and a lot of heart this season. They did. It was, and, you know, it's, it's one of those situations where they just, they were probably a player or two away yeah. from being able to really contend for a Western Mass title, but they did a great job to be able to stay in this game, although just right too much end. depth, too much Frontier Red Hawks. Peter Carey, a strong performance, 13 points to lead his team in score. Actually, Sean Richter of the team in score with 15 points. Peter Carey, 13 points, but I believe he had a double-double at least, right? Yep. And, he uh, had... Uh, 13 points and 17 rebounds. Eight points for Ethan Michon. Eight points for Gabe Jones-Thompson. Six for Donovan Hoffman. Four for Owen Walkowitz. Three for Aiden Hernandez. Two for Colin Boudreau. And a single foul shot. Or, excuse me, no. That's, uh, that's all of it. And for the front, Alpha Red Raiders, 14 points for Mark Ferrari. 11 for Bryce King. Nine for Noah Pottinger. Five for Riley Payne. And two for Nathan Heath. So the Frontier Red Hawks advance. They'll be back in action Friday night, February 28th in this building against the winner of Monument Mountain and Palmer. Zach Lino, final thoughts on this one? I think you had a lot of contributions from Frontier's amazing depth that they have and they played good in the low post. Uh, if they improve on their shooting a little bit more, they could be absolutely lethal during this playoffs. So we'll see. Next winner of the next game gets to go to the Curry Hicks cage, which is where Frontier season ended in the semifinals against number one seed this year, Narragansett. So we'll see where it goes from here. Friday night should be a lot of fun. We'll be here along the simulcast, Bear Country 95.3. My broadcast partner is Zach Lino. And for Alec Gecko, Megan Self, cameraman Josh, and the executive producer of Frontier Communities Access Television Sports, Kevin Murphy, the final score. Frontier Red Hawks beat the Alpha Red Raiders 62-41. You've been watching the MIAA Division III Western Mass Basketball Tournament on Frontier Community Access Television.